Thanks for tuning in to Bourbon Drop. I'm your host, Marvin. Today, I've got to give a big shout out to Chris Roll. Uh, hopefully, I'm pronouncing his last name right. He goes by the handle Minnesota 7th. Uh, Chris wanted to get some old elk in my hands. So, you know, he reached out to me. We talked. Uh, he said, look, I've got a bottle of old elk batch 2 and I found, which is the Island Blend, I think he said. And he said, I found a bottle of the old elk um, the first batch that was that was unnamed so he said you know i'd like to get your thoughts on them get them on the channel see what you think uh so i'm gonna do it on a sample sundays uh they pretty much both look the same color they're pretty much both the same amount um oh gosh i can't believe i just did this i didn't put any laps on the bottom of the glass or numbers give me one second All right, I'm back. Uh, rookie mistake. I can't believe I did that, man. Wow. Uh, look, so anyway, I don't have much experience with uh, Old Elk cigar cuts. Uh, I did sample one. I was at uh, BK Miller. They had some Old Elk cigar cut. Matter of fact, that's where this pick comes from. This is a BK Miller pick. Now, I was at the Virginia ABC years and years ago when I got this bottle. You guys will be seeing the review coming out for this bottle pretty soon, uh, so stay on the lookout for that one. But in my opinion, when I was at BK Miller, um, the Old Elk was overfinished. It was overdone. Now, if you watched the last Wild Turkey video I did, well, the last Sample Sunday video with the Wild Turkey Voyage, I thought that one was overdone. So I've got bottle number two. These are four ounce samples. Uh, I'm sorry, bottle number one. Wow. And bottle number two. These are four ounce samples. Uh, I had to put a one and two on the bottom of the glass real quick. Uh, rookie mistake. Yes, I did do that before. Uh, but he wanted to get me some four ounce samples so that I can enjoy them the way that I am supposed to. And that is with a cigar. So whichever one of these wins, I will enjoy with a cigar tonight. All right, let's get into glass A. Sweet nose, very sweet, like fruity sweet. At this at this point, I can't tell that it's you know I can tell that it's finished, but like I can't pick anything specific out. Normally, you know, if I take a sip, I can pick out later on like the rums and stuff like that. But this has just got a sweet nose. Definitely smells like you know a finished bourbon. Uh, getting a little bit of oak in that thing too. All right, let's get on the nose of uh, glass B. They actually smell very similar, I, except for I pick up just a touch more vanilla in uh, Glass B than I did. I don't think I picked up any vanilla at all in Glass A. Glass B seems to come across with a little bit more vanilla. Very sweet. And for some reason, I don't think I'm picking up as much oak in this glass as Glass A. All right, let's get into the palette. Oh, that's sweet. Very sweet. Nicely done. There's a like a pop of a cinnamon spice. But it's quick. It comes and it goes. It's it's very it's very quick. All right. Let's go on a glass B. Wow. If I had to pick something very small out, I would say that this one is a little spicier, lasts a little longer on the palate, but initially, you wouldn't be able to convince me that I was drinking two different pours. That's how that's how similar these are. Um, but this one just seems to hang around just a touch longer. Now that one did have, it was quick, but before I went to glass B, I started to get a little bit of that char and leather on the finish. This one, it seemed like the fruitier notes hung around. It, to me, the flavors were very similar. This was spicier, but the flavors just lasted longer in glass B. All right, I'm gonna go B to A, see if anything changes. Let me nose them too. All right, so nose on B. 
still a very sweet fruity nose. Just a touch of vanilla does still hang around in this glass. That's pretty much it. All right, back in the B. That's very sweet. That's very sweet, spicier. That, to me, with that had a pop of cinnamon, this is more like raw cinnamon, like like raw cinnamon. You pick up that spice, and you pick up that, that, that hint of cinnamon where it's there. This one right here was just like a pop and then it was gone. The fruity notes are still on the palate, coming across very good. This, neither one of these pours are something that I could drink on their own. Like just want to sit there and go through because they are super, Fruity sweet, super fruity sweet. Um, but I could definitely see pairing these with a cigar. And now, you know, that I really, I have gotten into cigars more and more over the past year, uh, I, I do tend to like sweeter things with my cigar. Now I'm talking a little bit because I'm trying to let this one come off the palate. The finish on this one right here is just super long. I am, I am actually really enjoying this one. Like I said, it's not something that I probably would drink on its own. Um, however, I cannot wait to uh, pair one of these with a cigar and you kind of see which one I'm, <laughs> I'm leaning towards. All right, let's go back into glass A. A little more citrus came out that second time. Still had a little bit of fruity sweetness. Not as much coming off of B as it did when I drank it by itself. That one had more of a citrus pop. That that cinnamon pop wasn't there as much anymore. Picking up more leather. Not as much char, more leather on the finish. But like I said, it's quick, it's gone. Um, you guys can already tell <laughs> which one of these that I like the most. So it's gonna definitely be whatever is in glass B. All right, let's see what this one is. All right, so this is glass number two. Glass number two happens to be the loser. Uh, glass B, glass A, which was, like I said, glass number two happens to be the loser. Uh, glass, glass A, which is number, glass, glass B, I took it from B's place. Glass B, which is actually glass number one, and I'm gonna try and hold that up on camera so you guys can see that, and I'll zoom in on it, um, is actually the winner. So let me get my phone because I told him to email me the key, let me go into my email. All right. So, uh, one is the Cigar Cut first batch. Two is the Cigar Cut Island time. So the Cigar Cut first batch is a Sherry Cast, Armyak Cast, Port Cast, and Cognac Cast. And the Cigar Cut Island Blend is the Old Elk Six Year High Malt Bourbon. Okay, it was, okay, they have it split. So the Sherry, it was in Sherry, a Sherry cast for two years, then a Port cast for six to 10 months. Then the Old Elk Six Year Rye was in a Rum cast for eight months. And then the Old Elk Six Year Wheat was in, uh, that, that looks like that says Salternus, Santernus. Salternus for six months. So either way, you guys already know that uh, I am a big fan of what was in bottle number one. So Glass B took uh, the win and that was number one, which was the original. Uh, so I can't wait to pair this thing with cigar. I, like I said, there's still ones that I, you know, you, you have to be in a mood. So I don't necessarily want to recommend these because normally on, you know, my Sample Sunday videos, I'll say, pick it up or, you know, just leave it behind. Um, but I, I don't want to necessarily, because these are expensive bottles. The Old Elf Cigar Cuts are about a buck fifty, So they're not coming off cheap. And then you have to, you know, you have to really, really, really like something that is super sweet because they are very sweet. Uh, but like I said, 
I like sweet pours with cigars because they tend to hold up more when you start getting that uh, that smoky note and you start getting that like that ash note in the mouth. Uh, those sweet notes still seem to make it through. So I am not going to recommend whether you know to to pick them up. I am not going to recommend men that you leave them behind did it, it is all up to you it is a personal choice especially with a bottle like that being 150 bucks and with that being said let the whiskey flow never run out unless you're headed to a drop till next time